Welcome up to another W204 video. Today, I want to show you guys how you can upgrade the older style W204 pre facelift cluster to the newer style cluster. But before I do that, I want to speak on it for a bit because I think there are a few points that I need to clarify before anyone decides to do this. Just to show you that this is a used cluster and these are the details. It came off a C-Class W204 1.8 litre 2013 model C250. It was a coupe. This modification is most definitely possible but there are a few things that I had to do in order to get this to work. But I've heard rumors from others saying that you did not have to do the process that I did. But I can vouch for the person who also helped me with this. Shout out to Ivalo Dudino. I really hope I'm saying that correctly. Please correct me if I'm wrong. He's also a fellow subscriber and someone who was kind enough to offer his expertise and also his time and effort to help me get this cluster to work. The process I had to go through was buy this cluster, and send it to him all the way in Bulgaria so that he could plug it up to his computer and virginize the cluster. From my understanding, if you were to just grab this cluster and plug it directly into your car, you would not have the odometer transferred over to your facelift cluster. So you would be driving around with just dashes and it would just look like you don't have any mileage at all. What I had to do was send this off to him, let him virginize it by coding it, playing around with it, and then he sent it all the way back to me. Now it took a total of six weeks during COVID, three weeks to him and about three weeks to me. And then once I got it, he was able to help me code it, free might I add. What I had to do was hook up a open port device to my car, which then allowed him to get the information off my old cluster and store it into his PC remotely, might I add. Once he had all the information, he then asked me to unplug my old cluster, plug in the new facelift cluster, which is this one right here. And from there, he then did what he needed to do in order to transfer over the information from my older cluster to the newer cluster. And now, all I basically have to do is plug this in and it will work as specified so the main point here that i'm trying to get across is you aren't able to just simply plug and play a cluster unless it is completely brand new straight from mercedes with zero kilometers on it it would still transfer over your original mileage straight to your brand new cluster and you would also have to enter it as well i really just wanted to make that clear for everyone if you're planning to do this modification just be aware that you will have to do the virginizing and also transferring of the information from your previous cluster to your new cluster. With that said, let's jump in the car and I'll show you guys how to remove the cluster, how to plug it in and then show you guys that it does work and that my original kilometers did transfer over to my facelift cluster. Just to briefly show you how he did it, I used my laptop, connected it to my Wi-Fi. We used a program called TeamViewer. It's just a program that allows somebody else to connect to your PC via an internet connection. And all you need from there is this device, which is called Tactrix Open Port 2.0 Revision E. It's a very simple device. It simply plugs into an OBD2 port with a mini USB cable. It plugs into here. You plug it in, open your PC, open up Team Viewer, and it gives you a password and a reference number give that information to the person who's trying to connect to your pc and he will be able to connect directly to your pc from there you basically just plug this into your car your obd2 port and he will gain control of your pc and then remotely code it from wherever he is in the world and that's just amazing to me because you know usually you would have to be there in person but with technology now you know you're able to do things like this without even having the person be there physically and i just think that's really cool and once again i can't explain how grateful i am that uh, this was able to be done that way and especially for no cost now 
Uh, mind you, if you were to contact, he may charge you a small fee, but I don't think anything ridiculous. Something most definitely affordable. Take it from me, I really do vouch for this guy. He definitely knows his stuff about coding, especially with the W204 and things like instrument clusters. He does this on a regular basis in his home country and um, I couldn't recommend him enough. So if you're interested in doing something like this, give him a call, contact him via Facebook and uh, I'm sure he will be able to help you out and do exactly this. Now let's uh, jump in the car and I'll show you guys quickly how you remove the cluster, plug this one in and um, how it all works. I've done a video already showing how I removed the instrument cluster in the ESL video but I'll show you guys anyway so you don't have to watch that video. Now all you need here is a plastic trim removal tool and all we do from here is pry this down and unclip it. Follow it all the way around until you get the start coming out and once you get the top out you can simply pull down and pull it towards you and it will unclip. There we go, just like that, it just clips in. All we need now is a T25 Torx bit, Torx screwdriver, and there are four screws. One, two, three, four. Simply undo them. You don't have to do them all the way out, just do it enough so that it loosens the cluster from the mount. Remember, don't do it all the way until the screw comes out. You just have to do it so that the cluster is free. There we go. And then pull this out as you don't need it anymore. Okay, for now. Now, once you have that out, you fold the cluster down towards you. Pull it out. Now, use your steering wheel controller to lower and pull out the steering wheel as much as you can you want to do that first actually that way you have a lot of room in order to maneuver this out now once you do this you simply pull it out raise it as you're coming out and you will find a sweet spot where it comes out perfectly all you do from here is you unplug it you press the top button here and then you pull this back and as this pulls back, it unclips. Simply find the sweet spot and pull it out. Now, once we have removed the cluster from the car, what we need to do is interchange the covers. Because even though we are fitting the facelift cluster, you cannot use the cover for it. You have to still reuse your one. This is just a matter of prying now. Looking at this, you can see that you've got a clip here, a clip here, a clip here, here and here pry on all of these i like to use like a pick tool like such and one by one you need to simply keep prying them until it releases the top cover okay there we have it okay make sure nothing clips back in as you're doing this because you need it to separate there we go keep it separated and sometimes you'll need to peel this back a little bit so that it will allow it to separate. Okay. There we go. Perfect. There were a total of one, two, three, four, five, six clips. Make sure it's nice and clean. We do the same thing to this cluster here. Same principle. Undo all your clips. One, two three four five six total as well exactly the same because it clips on the exact same way there we have it so all we're basically doing now is swapping over the top cover and now we can simply fit this on make sure it's lined up all the way around okay and simply press down a perfect fitment make sure everything's clipped on look at that we will use the facelift cluster to protect the older style instrument cluster look at that just in case you ever want to swap back you always can reinstall this into the car and we will be done first thing we want to do is slide this back in and plug it in so get it in simply reversal of removal you want to start with this all the way up like that and as you push in 
this will start to pull back like so and it will start to plug in by the time this reaches the back it will already plug in like so and look at that that's it that's all that there is now that it's locked in place you can't even pull it out all we have to do is push the base in first like so it's a uh, bit of a tight fit but there is a sweet spot and once you get that in it's pretty easy there we go so you want to get it about this angle and then you push that in like so and simply fold it back like that there we have it just like that ensure your shroud is fitted perfectly fitted right this is where you reinstall your dimmer lever it does go on a certain way as you can see it's like a d shape so just turn it until it sits in and then you should be able to rotate it left and right and you should be able to feel that re-screw back in all our t25 torx screws you can just hand tighten this it does not have to be you know really tight just nice and snug so that it holds the cluster in place you'll feel it when it gets snug just stop all we need to do is reinstall our cover ensure your dim lever comes through get it in make sure it sticks out like so and then simply just push it in let it clip back in completely and that's it and now just to show you guys that everything works put in the ignition and as you can see already that's my original kilometer showing up and I love how it has the facelift model of the car showing time works everything has transferred over perfectly now let's see if the fuel gauge the temperature gauge and the revs everything works beautiful guys look at that let's go through the settings let's make sure everything works in settings you have this extra feature in one of these Okay, and I believe it's in something like vehicle acoustic lock this is the other feature that I wanted to share with you guys now when I originally installed this facelift cluster without coding it I noticed that it had this function and all this means is when you go to lock and unlock the car it will just sound the horn with it and this is that extra function I was talking about when I did that video explaining how you get an extra function when you try to update your instrument cluster the revs work great yes excellent very very happy looks great it now just looks so complete everything works now fuel gauge works the temperature gauge is working everything is working as it should we'll switch our manual to sport lighting instrument cluster display in kilometers per hour outside temperature display lighting daylight winter tires so the reason why I love this cluster so much is that it gives you that nice picture of the car and that's what I wanted that's really the main reason why I wanted the facelift cluster your hazards will now be there rather than on the outside here everything is now displayed within the dials and I just love how it still uses the cover from the pre facelift sports model so you know it has the nice chrome ring and it just gives it that nice luxury sport look okay and there you have it guys how to successfully upgrade your instrument cluster to the facelift instrument cluster i really hope you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads until next time this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off See you in the next one, guys.